Yeah, there were some um, talks to, with my friends, and of course I tried to um, to get them closer to faith um, because the love and the pleasure which um, Christ gave to me, um, I want to give it to others. After some, I guess, half a year, they started asking me like, so what do you do now? What's different now? And they wanted to know more about my belief and uh, why I decided to be Catholic. And actually, some of my friends then wanted to come uh, with me to the Mass, to the Holy Mass. À contre courant, euh, c'est vrai que au début c'est très dur, mais après, comme on voit ici à Rome, pour des congrès où il y a énormément de monde qui sont avec la même idée. Ça, ça, directement, ça, ça me donne de la force et, et ça me rend plus forte pour euh, après euh, aller évangéliser entre guillemets euh, le, mon pays ou ma ville, mes amis. Volvemos siempre a ese apostolado que yo señalé en camino hace tantos años, en 1934, al apostolado de la amistad y de la confidencia. Habla con uno, habla con otro. Verás que poco a poco te dan la razón, y poco a poco se van venciendo y poco a poco van tomando parte activa en las cosas buenas que les harán buenos cristianos, dueños de su vida y señores de su libertad. The way that you can really show people what Christianity means is by trying to live a Christian life yourself. So if you say, I'm trying to do a very good job um, because I want to offer it up to God, and then you have for instance, an uh, icon of the Virgin Mary on your desk, then they understand what that means. And if you do a good job, you know, God willing, then that has more of an impact than anything else. It was fantastic for me that he has given his um, life to God. Um, like the Pope um, said, um, if we let Christ into our lives, we lose nothing, absolutely nothing, what makes life free, beautiful and great. You got a lot of uh, spiritual inspiration and you come home and uh, as if you get to work and um, friends ask you what are you going to do after this, and, oh, I'm going to church uh, and uh, it's with that inspiration and with the Catholic friends you have because you have some Catholic friends, uh, you get inspiration to be very frank with your faith. Primero tienes que eh, creer, creer y tener fe, no solamente poco, sino que dar todo. Y cuando tienes todo, me pienso que desaparecen, desaparecen miedos. Tienes que estar ubicado completamente en esto. I have only one Japanese friend that is Catholic, because in my class we are 120 students and we are just two Catholics there. But uh, talking to some of them about their meaning of life or their idea of happiness. A friend of mine told me that uh, he didn't believe in God, but that he would like to believe in God because then he would have a meaning for his life. Because he told me, I see you and I see how happy you are for being a Christian, for believing in a God. So I would like to believe in this, but I, I can't believe. And I invite you because of this I know this life you have. Pegad este fuego a todo lo que os rodea, eh. Le ha preguntado uno al principio si tenemos derecho a meternos en la vida de los demás. Sí que tenemos derecho. No solo derecho, sino deber. Ala, ayudad a vuestros amigos, a vuestros parientes, a vuestros vecinos, a vuestros compañeros. Primero rezando, después dando buen ejemplo y después empleando toda la gracia y la simpatía que tenéis por las rogas. Ala. I think the best way to talk about challenging issues regarding the faith is to do it with conviction and with enthusiasm, to show that I've really thought these things through and I really believe them. And I'm not following what someone else has told me, but what I've discovered for myself. I've looked into these things, I've, I've read different articles, I've read both sides of the story. and. I think that this is the right way to go. Um, I think that this is the truth. I think I think that this is truth. Um, and to 
to really show I'm not blindly following what someone is telling me, but doing what I know is right and saying that with enthusiasm.